So in this really quick, simple video, I'm gonna show you guys how you fix when Adobe Premiere says your clip dimensions does not match the sequence when you try to apply warp stabilizer. So this usually happens when you have your normal timeline here. Let's say I drag this clip over here. It's a standard 1080p file that is in 23.976, AKA 24 frames per second. I play it here and it's just the clip of me. And you can apply warp stabilizer on it. You click effects, drag that on there, and it's gonna be applying warp stabilizer. But the thing is, when you have a different clip that's different dimensions, you get an error sign like this. This is a 4K file, drag that on here. Obviously, it's gonna be really scaled in. And let's say, for example, I wanna put warp stabilizer on it. You get this little error here says warp stabilizer requires clip dimensions to match sequence fix by next thing. Now Adobe Premiere actually says to tell you that you can fix it by nesting and that's how easy it is. So what you do is you right click nest and essentially what nesting does is that it takes a bunch of clips and files and converts it or puts it into the actual sequence of the sequence if that makes sense. So I nest it at the sequence within a sequence. You nest it and now look, magically, you can apply a warp stabilizer on it. And this works for all sorts of videos, doesn't matter what dimension size. So now you can actually apply warp stabilizer on, let's say, a square video that's actually one by one or 1080 by 1080. So let's say this is a square video that you're making for Facebook or Instagram. So I drag this clip over here, keep existing settings, and I'm going to try to put warp stabilizer on it. But guess what? I can't since it is a one by one or 1080. But now all you know now, the trick is you right click, nest, hit OK, put warp stabilizer on it. And now you can actually warp stabilize a 1080 by 1080 square ratio. And for the longest time, I didn't know that. And I used older versions of Premiere. So I just avoided using these clips without warp stabilizing them. But now you know that next time you run into the issue, all you need to do is right click, hit next, and now you can warp stabilize any clip that you want. And it's one of my favorite tools. You're watching Broke Visionary Collective, where we all start with nothing, but you can always create something. Cheers.